What's up guys, Jeff from D-Trailers. So you looking to start a pressure wash, a soft wash, a fleet wash business, a mobile detailing, mobile car wash, something like that? Well, you're in the right place, my friends. You're sitting in front of your computer, you're watching this video, and let me think about it. I don't think there's anybody as good as I am on this planet to help you get started with that dream. But all baloney aside, let's talk about this trailer. So. This unit's gonna be a hot water pressure wash slash, it's gonna be a downstream soft wash system and it's got the spot free rinse on it. He wants to do fleets. So we've got the new, the updated spot free system. If you look at this trailer compared to some of our earlier systems, the spot free tanks are bigger and they flow better. And the reason that's important is because they fill up the spot free tank quite a bit better quite a bit quicker I should say before they would just kind of trickle and took a long time now they match the flow of whatever flow is going into them and let's talk about that a minute so spot free anytime you're talking about a spot free system spot free rinse you're you want to be talking about DI there's there's other water types out there that people claim are spot free like RO which is drinking water and then there's some, I've heard of some additives that they claim that you can add to the water to get spot free. No, no, if you, if you want true spot free, as spot free as possible, it's gotta be a deionized system. That's what these are. This is a tri-bed. So when you go to fill up your spot free tank, you just connect your, your hose onto this. It runs through these three tanks, treats the water, and then fills up your spot free tank, which is your front one. And then your back one is your tap water tank. And why do we do that? Well, we do that so that you're not wasting spot free water for things that you could be using tap water for, like uh, pre rinse and mid wash, and then final rinse, and then spot free rinse. Um, you're only going to use spot free for the spot free rinse. You're going to use tap water for the other other parts. But a uh, pretty pretty powerful system. Four thousand psi and three and a half gallons a minute on this or you can have it run 3500 psi and four gallons a minute really just depends on your application there's not a huge difference between the two uh, we've got 100 feet of hose on our stainless reel got some good spacing with the tanks as far as how it lays down on the trailer and, and weight distribution the big shiny nasa looking thing that's our hot water burner so you can run hot or cold on this one Customer needed it on a pretty small footprint, needed it to fit in his garage, so we had to do a smaller storage box up front, which I think just looks great. I kind of tried to follow the all black theme on it with the tanks and the box and the wheels, and I would have loved to have done black tanks on it. The problem with the black tanks is you can't see how much water, how much liquid you've got, and being that this is a dual line, that this is a dual tank system when, and spot free and tap water, you really kind of need to actively know what your levels are. Like if it was just a water, you know, tap water trailer, you fill them up and you can look inside and both tanks equalize with each other. But on this this one, you really kind of need to know where your water levels are. You can see the tap, tap is up here. Spot free is kind of low because we used a, quite a bit of it uh, earlier just running through and testing the, the system but uh, something to note we've got it set up now so that they're separate but let's say the customer got a big job like a big spot free job like let's say a used car or a, or a new car lot with hundreds of vehicles he could drain out the tap tank valve them together because we do valves down here to separate or join them and have 400 gallons of spot free and conversely let's say he just had a big pressure wash job he could drain the spot free tank throw the valves and then fill it up with tap water and he'd have 400 gallons of tap water now this trailer is 3500 pound rated axles I'm sorry guys i know it's windy out here you're probably having a hard time hearing what i'm saying 3500 pound axle 7000 pound total capacity so dual 200s 400 gallon kind of the limit for these axles as far as the the weight with all the other equipment on it but we do you know we do 500 700 thousand gallon systems i mean sky's the limit with that it's just that when we go with the bigger tanks we need to step up on axles and uh, that's a cost. Uh, we can go with 6,000, 7,000, 10,000 pound 
axles. It, you know, it just it really depends on how much water we're carrying. When you start getting in the big stuff, now you're kind of start looking at maybe doing a gooseneck or what have you. But we build a wide, wide range and spectrum of, of systems. So call us. Here's the number. I know the guy that answers this one. That's me. That's me that I do it. There's a website, eTrailers.com. If you've got any questions uh, anytime you're thinking about, you know, starting 